This review looks at three Corgi white models. 13700 is a Scania tractor, 19910 is a curtain side trailer, and 19912 is a refrigerated trailer. They all come in very similar packaging, so we'll look at the Scania tractor first. These models are plain white and they're intended to be decorated by the collector. And on the back there's a little bit of information about some of the paints that you can buy. So getting the Scania out of the box and it's all really simple enough. The model's just held in place by a couple of clear plastic trays. And once you separate those then it's easy to lift out the Scania tractor. The only other thing of note is a small bag that contains mirrors and aerials. Both trailers come in identical packaging so we'll look at the refrigerated trailer. And it's all much the same, very simple packaging. So repeat after me, separate the lids, take out the trailer, and the model is complete, out of the box. The only assembly to carry out on the Scania is the ritual of fitting the mirrors and the aerials. And fortunately on this model it's all straightforward because the mirrors are all a good fit. These mirrors are plastic parts and I guess if you wanted to paint them to match any decoration you wanted to put on the cab that would be possible too. And in addition to the mirrors the other plastic parts that have to be fitted are the roof aerials which press into either side of the cab. We'll take just a very quick look at the detail of these particular models. And the Scania chassis is typical Corgi, it's mainly metal and fairly simple. The casting of the cab is pretty good so there's no mistaking the Scania shape. The lights have lenses and the wheels look quite good. Behind the cab there are coiled air lines, metal wheel arches and decent lights and mud flaps. The underside of the curtain cider is typically simple with that slightly strange dimpled finish. The plastic curtain sides look realistic with nice tie downs and the rear end looks quite reasonable too. The underside of the refrigerated truck is almost exactly the same as the curtain cider. The sides of the trailer are plain and there's a refrigeration unit at the front. Motoring on quickly and the Scania rolls well enough. And one good thing about this Scania chassis from Corgi is that it does feature working steering. The angle's not great but it does give some posing possibilities. In terms of features the trailers are really identical. They roll well enough and the wheels are all on common axles and at the front there are a couple of cam feet on the landing legs which you can push down to support the model when it's standing. And just for completeness here's the curtain side of truck, same wheels and same little cam feet on the landing legs. The other thing you can do with these models is to connect the tractor and trailer of course and there are air lines on the tractor which do press into holes on the trailer and you might have to fiddle with it a bit but that can be done. And then you just pop the kingpin of the trailer into the tractor and you've got a truck. Anyway, these white models are intended to be painted by the collector, so get yourself a tin and a brush. And if you think that's suitable, you best keep taking the medication. Much more like it is to use modelling paints and a modelling brush and start painting. As always, there's no expense spared at Cranes etc, so we've commissioned some artwork for our trucks. So let's give the curtain cider a snazzy look. And we'll continue the art theme on the rear doors as well. So let's have a go now at giving the Scania tractor a makeover. And a nice chrome finish certainly looks snazzy. Maybe a green chrome would look nice. And it's only right that we have a truck for the ladies. Mmm, the red wheels look good. How about a zebra coat for the animal lovers? Or perhaps something for the romantics? Perhaps a bit more artistic now with a shimmering blue? Or even a more striking red design? Or we can go over the top with some gold bling. Let's have a go at a complete truck, so we'll need something nice and cool for our refrigerated trailer. And we'll add some colour to the skirts with a nice bit of fade. Let's try painting the rear doors blue. Probably could do a bit of highlighting, I think. And perhaps it'll be good to follow through the skirt design onto the tractor. And then give it a bit of a flourish as well. And for that ice cool look, we'll paint the wheels as well. In summary, these white models from Corgi provide a very interesting way to create your own livery. They are perhaps a bit too plain to recommend as collectible models in their own right, but they would be fun to decorate in a livery of your own design.